Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we are going to create a radial menu with very less coding. We'll be creating a uh, segment for the radial menu and then we'll be rotating it to create a menu like this. So basically you can select whichever menu item you want and it will be assigned radially like this. So the first step for this will be to draw the ring and then cut off the segment from it and then use that segment to basically create a custom button in unity and then duplicate it to create your radial menu and let's go to paint and get started well, i search the internet for if there is a way to draw a segment that is just 60 degree or 40 degree but i didn't find any tool so if you find a tool like that then that will reduce the amount of work in this radial menu creation by half but as of now we'll have to draw circles and cut out the segment from them so i'm in paint now and make sure the canvas is basically square so my canvas is basically 600 cross 600 a little bit not square if your canvas is not square just click on the resize option select pixel and enter the horizontal and vertical and uncheck maintain aspect ratio if it is not becoming square then plus OK. So now I have a square canvas, and the next thing will be to draw a circle. So let's select the oval shape and let's start from this corner and draw a circle till this corner. OK. And generally, spatial UIs are very thick, but the circle is very thin. So to solve that issue, we'll be drawing another circle inside this and filling this area. So let's select the oval tool again and maybe I'll start from somewhere here. Okay, the main problem is better to have grid lines. So we'll put grids. Okay, so that way you'll be able to see which grid to start from. So let's start from here. And I think we have a circle. Okay, yep. That's good. And now we can uncheck the grid lines. And let's go to home. And now let's select a fill color. So let's select this as the color and select the fill tool and fill this area. So now we have a ring. So let's just save the ring. Save as. And make sure you save it as a PNG file. I'm going to call it ring. Okay. And save. I already have a ring. Yes, replace it. Okay, now we need a photo editing tool like GIMP or Photoshop. GIMP is free, so you can just download GIMP from the link in description. So download and install it and open up GIMP. Now let's go to File, Open, and I'll get my ring image. Okay. Now there are a couple of things to do here. First thing is to erase off the background and make sure it's transparent. Then we'll cut the segment that is required for us. So the, this is the color selection tool. If, if you are having fuzzy selection tool, then you can just right click here and select select by color. And then click on the white color. So now the white background and the inside white color is selected. Now we're going to invert the selection so that the ring is selected and I'm going to cut this and paste it again. So here are the layers tab. Inside the layers tab, your pasted ring has shifted to a new layer. So I'm going to just select to new layer and then I'm going to delete off the background. So this way I have a transparent background. Now, if you already have a UI which is looking like a ring, then you can use that also. It is not necessary that you're using, you need to draw it in the paint. So if you already have a circle UI or, or your artist has drawn it for you, then you can just use that in this case. Now, the next thing we require are the grid lines. So let's go to view and click on show grid. And we don't require so many grids. We'll just have maybe four grids. Uh, four quadrants. So let's go to image configure grid and the size of the grid should be half of the image size. In my case, it's 600 plus 600. So the half is 300. 
do OK. Now, for the segmentation part, if you require two segments for your ring, so then you can just erase off this part and keep this part of the ring. If you require four, then you can erase these three quadrants and keep this quadrant here. But what if you require some odd numbers like three segments or six segments, then you have to cut the segment in a particular angle. For example, if you need six segments, then the angle will be 360 divided by six and that is 60 degrees. So we'll not be cropping the image because we need a square image and we'll be rotating this segment to create other segments of the radial menu. So we'll just select the segment and erase off the remaining part of the ring. In our case, we need 60 degrees. Now to select a segment of 60 degrees, you have to use a tool called path tool. So let's select the path tool here and make sure design is selected and polygon is checked then click on the center so if you're not sure if you're clicking on the center just look at the coordinates here the center should be 300 cross 300 okay and then click somewhere outside of the image and make sure the line is straight so i'll just click it at the corner and then we'll extend it then we can just zoom out then hold that with the left mouse button and increase it the reason i'm increasing the length of this path is when it rotates it should also be able to cover the corners so now in the layers tab you'll also have a tab called paths and make sure you click this button so that the path will be visible now select the rotate tool and in the transforms, you will have a path option. Select the path. Now let's click on the image to rotate the path. So the center will be the center of the image. So that's 300 cross 300. And the angle will be 60 degrees. And if you want some gap between the segments, for example, you want a 2 degree gap, then you can enter 58 here. And then click on rotate. So now we have a segment area. Now let's select the segment area and then click on path tool again. Select the path. Click on the corner of the images. You can zoom in to be sure you're clicking on the corner. Okay. And then here. And then again back to the center of the image. There you go. Now go to select and click on from path. So the segment area is selected. Now let's go to select and invert the selection so that everything except the segment area is selected. Now use the eraser tool to erase off all the other parts because we need only the segment area. We don't require anything outside it. And since the segment area is not selected, it will not get erased. Okay. Now let's export this image. Click on file, export as. And then I'm going to export it as ring.png. So there's already a ring.png. I'm going to replace it. Okay, export. So my ring is now exported to my Unity project. So I'll select the ring. Make sure that texture type is set to texture 2D and UI, and sprite mode is set as single. Mesh type is set to full rect. It will generally be in tight. So make sure you select full rect. And in the advanced option, make sure to check read and write. This is required be, uh, because we'll be changing a small parameter that will make only the segment area clickable and not the whole image. Now go to canvas and click and add a button. So UI button. And make sure the button is square in size. So let's have width 160 and height 160. And I don't require the text inside it. So I'm going to delete it off. Okay. So now let's drag and drop the ring to the button. So now we have a segment of the ring on our button. So I'm going to rename this button as radial segment 
for testing the ui i'm going to set the highlight color to red and i'll play the game so if you just go near the button you can see that the button gets highlighted even from far away that is because unity takes in the whole image area rather than only the segment part so to fix that you just have to set one parameter so we have to write a small code click on add component and add a script so i've already written the script so let's see what is there in the script you have to add using unity engine.ui because we'll be accessing the image component of the button then we'll create a variable of type image then in the start function we'll get the image component and then we'll set the alpha hit test minimum threshold to something greater than zero i have set it to 0.5 so this way the areas where the alpha is zero will not be interactable only the areas where the image is available will become interactable so let's save the script and go back to unity now with the script attached if i click on play button the button is no longer getting highlighted if i move around it but if i go near into the segment it's it gets highlighted so now we have created a button that is custom shaped now you will need an icon for this so right click ui image adjust the width and height of the image because this will act as the icon so let's select 20 cross 20 and let's keep it somewhere in between the segment okay and i'll rename this image as open. okay so now we have and also make sure you uncheck the rekas target because the icon is not the target only the radial segment should be the target okay now the next thing left to do is fill our radial menu so you can just duplicate this let's call it radial segment 2 and since each of our segment is 60 degrees or 58 degrees to be exact and we have two degrees gap so this will be 60 okay so the reason this is not aligning up is when i drew the circle it was not symmetric so to avoid this problem you have to draw circles that are symmetric this will solve our purpose as of now so let's go and duplicate again and we'll call this segment 3 and this time it's going to be 2 in the 60 okay and then again duplicate and this will be segment 4 and this will be 3 into 60 okay then again duplicate this will be segment 5 and this will be 4 into 60 and then comes in the last segment the sixth one and this will be 5 into so it doesn't align up it does look good so I'm going to set the icons here. So I have a UI downloaded from Unity Asset Store. It's free. I'll leave the link in the description. Now let's set all the icons. So once we have set the icons, the radial menu looks good. Let's go to game and play it. So that's looking good. Yep. So that's it. You have created a radial menu. Now it does look a little smaller. So let's select all our radial segments. Hold on. Okay. And let's scale it in the x axis by 2. Wow, this looks good. I'm not sure if this works. So let's click on the play button. Wow, this works too. That looks cool. Maybe you can use this trick in some of your game. But anyway, in our case, we have to set the Y also to 2. So this is your radial menu. Hope the tutorial was useful. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.